हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज सौविक नाग फ्रॉम वेस्ट बेंगल आई हैव सिक्योर्ड ऑल इंडिया रैंक फोर इन दिस ईयर आई सी आर ए डबल ई ए पी जी जे आर एफ एग्जामिनेशन इन प्लान साइंस मेजर सब्जेक्ट ग्रुप आई हैव डान माई बी एस सी एग्रीकल्चर डिग्री फ्रॉम विधान चंद्र कृषि विश्वविद्यालय बर्धमान कैम्पास वेस्ट बेंगल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक माई होल फैमिली माई पेरेंट्स माई फ्रेंड्स माई सीनियर्स एंड फेलो जूनियर्स फॉर देर काइंड सपोर्ट and always have a belief in me especially i would like to thank agri toppers academy for their wise mock test series i have only purchased their mock test series for my preparation purposes now i would like to talk about the important books which i have followed through my preparation journey i divided the whole syllabus in two major parts a major subject part and a minor subject part in the major subject part we have to read or we have to understand the plant breeding genetics and plant pathology in minor subject part the subjects like seed technology plant physiology microbiology statistics and general agriculture comes let's talk about the major part for plant breeding i followed the principles of plant breeding book by bd singh and essentials in plant breeding by fundan singh the second book fundan singh book is pretty much solid and you have to read the line by line and understand the concept deeply but in case of bd singh book you have only the only the essence of this book i have followed the book thoroughly but you don't need to go too much depth for this book you have only read the <coughs> major topics like con- conventional methods of plant breeding uh, male sterility portion reproductive system in plants this portion and uh, special techniques in plant breeding like uh, mutation polyploidy distant hybridization uh, clonal uh, breeding hybrid hybrids then population approach approaches Th- that this chapters you have to read deeply Bi- biotechnology and uh, marker part you have to read only the tables and for the marker part you have to read little bit more apart from the tables now for genetics i followed thoroughly the genetics book by bd singh and the genetics made easy book these two books are enough for jrf purposes for the plant pathology part i have followed so many books but you don't need to follow that so much amount of book because it uh, later it becomes a burden to revise them all at a time so you should prefer the textbook of fungi bacteria viruses by hc dubey and modern plant pathology by hc dubey none of our teachers or anybody can refer the modern plant pathology book but uh, as we saw that last year and this year question some pathology questions are asked through uh, from the out outer syllabus or out of the syllabus so for those questions you have to follow the modern plant pathology book and apart from this book you should also read the chapter 4 5 6 from fundamentals of pathology by agrios book uh, other than these books you have to follow the and you should to follow the uh engineeranga university notes of plant pathology all the engineeranga university notes these are quite helpful and easy to understand so you should follow them for my plant pathology revision purpose i followed the book written by mk khukar and ss sharma named like plant pathology and overview this book is quite helpful and in this book you can you come across some uh, concepts which you never read any other book so this book is quite helpful and in previous year jrf uh, examination some questions are uh, asked from this book only in the part of minor subjects for seed technology i followed the book of pk agarwal and the notes from tamil nadu agricultural university especially for seed technology i would like to suggest attempting many mcqs as many mcqs as you can because i realize that in this way the all seed technology part can be digested very easily so uh, in the seed technology part there are lots of charts tables and uh, lots of other one liner questions or one liner theory concepts which you have to memorize and uh, which you have to hold in your head for a quite long time so for this purpose you have to solve many objective questions or mcqs uh, to memorize them easily and for a longer period of time now coming to the less important subjects like for microbiology i followed the toro kapur book for plant physiology i followed all the notes from elin 
and for statistics and general agriculture i followed the both volumes of arun kattayan and nemraj sunda book i would like to talk about the mcq books which i have followed for my preparation purpose for genetics i thoroughly solved and revised the objective genetics book by bk prasad and bd singh and for plant breeding i solved and thoroughly revised the book uh, plant breed the uh, objective plant breeding by bd singh and bk prasad in this book the appendix part is very much important in case of grf aspects and this part will help you to revise the whole syllabus in one go for plant pathology i suggest to solve the book by uk bhattacharya named plant pathology at a glance and plant path objective plant pathology by shushant banik and ak mandal for seed technology after completing the major textbooks and notes you should revise uh, the whole seed technology syllabus from uh, the book by gayatri kumawat and mk bhutna named a competitive vision uh, sorry a competitive book of seed science and technology you should solve two mcq books for better understanding and for uh, memorize the whole syllabus of seed technology for a longer period of time uh, so this uh, those books are ringanayya ki book and k vananga mudi book these two mcq books you have to solve and revise uh, again and again other minor subjects uh, like microbiology plant physiology and general agriculture you should follow uh, some mock test series before uh, that uh, before 6 months from the examination that will very much sufficient uh, to cover those minor subjects as well so let's talk about the study plan and uh, strategies which you should follow and which i followed for my gra preparation first of all for genetics and plant breeding you should complete the major textbooks by bd singh or fundan singh once or twice and after that you should have to revise it and in during this revision process you should solve the mcq book side by side like one day you revise one chapter and in that day you solve the whole portion of mcq from the mcq books for uh, asked from those chapters only during the mock test and mcq solving you should analyze and you should uh, chalk down or note down your mistakes in a other uh, another notebook this notebook you sh- should read once or twice before the examination uh, final examination study happily never take so much stress during your preparation program enjoy learning thank you very much